Do you know what? We are happy and we are clapping yeah. along. Do you remember where you were the day Sizzler announced it was shutting up shop? Heartbreaking. I cried. Mm -hmm. It was a sombre day in November 2020. The weather was bad. When we said farewell to all you can eat salad bars and the culty, cheesy, toasty thing. Delicious thing, wasn't mm. it? But fans of the iconic buffet are in for a treat because Sizzler is returning to one lucky Aussie city for one night only. And to tell us all about it, <laughs> Kiss FM radio host Robert and Kip join us now live Geniuses. from Brisbane. You guys brought Sizzler back. <laughs> oh, it's the best thing I ever. Know. I mean, we... we, we... We put a post out there on Facebook. We're like, what do you want back in Brisbane? And we were thinking it was going to be like, there used to be a, a, a sort of an entertainment centre at, at uh, Myers City. We thought maybe it would be that. Overwhelmingly, it was cheese toast and then just Sizzler in general. Yeah. You know, Robin, I, I used to go to the, um, to the one at Carindale, right, back in the day. And the Carindale one was was extra special for some weird reason. It was like a, it was like a family outing, like once a month. Yeah. Um, what are the memories yeah. for you? Oh my goodness, so many of them. I mean, cheese toast, of course, potato skins. Oh, and what's yeah. been really interesting about this pop-up is that they have brought back a number of the chefs. So Jan, oh, who is wow. in charge of food production, she was a chef for 30 years at Sizzler. Wow. They got us in to trial their potato skins and they were too thick. Yeah, we had, we had to talk to Jan about it. And so they changed the recipe. They went back and had a look at exactly what the diameter was. From So it went from That's like hilarious. 10 millimetres down to 3 millimetres. That is how seriously yeah. they are taking this Sizzler pop-up. One night only in Brisbane. Carl, where are you, mate? It's, it's State of Origin is tomorrow. To Get your butt up yes. here. It felt like everything was bigger 20 yeah. years ago, though. I mean, everything's got smaller and, you <laughs> know. Portion sizes. Yeah, that whole thing. Carl, if you want to yeah, come, I do. we will give you a seat at the table. <gasps> yes. If you want to get your butt on the plane, you can come and have a seat tonight at Sizzler. Oh. It's an offer you can't refuse, Carl. Well, and, then, and then I'll get I'll get back yeah, on the I mean, plane to come, come home. Come on, mate. Ex excess baggage. Yeah, I know you'll have to make sure you get Because I used to have oh, the yeah. palms no, and just, toast. Go on. Go on. You stay for State of Origin, buddy. Yeah, it's yeah. here tomorrow. Yeah, I know. They won't let me out, though. I get I'm too... sorry. Yeah. It's just... I mean... If you're not sold yet, let, just just think about the pumpkin soup and the cheese toast being dipped into the oh, pumpkin oh, soup. Oh, yum. I mean, yeah. if that doesn't take you back somewhere special. The ice cream. Special. We've oh, yeah. actually got yeah. the ice yeah, cream the maker. So the guy, the son of the original ice <sighs> cream maker, called us and mm. said, I've still got the machines. Yep. We will give you the proper machines. Wow. And they're coming. Because this is so, so, so sorry, you guys. I mean, it, it sounds like nothing. you'll get nothing <laughs> from that. those machines from 30 years ago. <laughs> they sound very <laughs> healthy. Uh, but it was healthy back in the day. I mean, you used to have the, to the cheesy toast, then you get full, then you go for the pasta, then the potato skins yep. are with the pasta yep. sauce on top of it. I mean, it was, they were just great and days. The smorgies board. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we even got the pasta. We even got... We had a go at the spaghetti bolognese. We're like, oh, it's a bit too good. It needs to be more watery. <laughs> and so That's they right. did. Oh. They watered it. That's so funny. <laughs> you can't get all bougie on us really now. It's a really good thing. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. It tastes exactly the same. But it's... Look, this company have really yeah. taken this seriously. And um, we have been told that some exciting things are coming oh. so oh, i think what? they were so overwhelmed with just how much people are wanting that nostalgia yeah. and also how much they want like affordable eating well yeah. totally i mean um, that's the other thing just, isn't it yeah stay with us guys oh, well, yeah go on sis. So, so if, you never know because you know they're, they're two up themselves in melbourne to have a sizzler <laughs> we had a sizzler i think it was in thomas town but we also had something called smorgies which was like smorgies. did you have smorgies no, in no, no 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 it's too we had high smorgies no, in victoria no, it's too it was high one right. at the end of the geelong smorgies. pier yeah. It was the same thing, though. I used to go there and dip the fries into the soft serve ice Smorgies. cream with the sprinkles, hundreds and thousands on top. It was just a delight. It sounds yeah. like something. I never so thought I'd it. say this, but smorgie sounds up itself. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, brother. No, it doesn't. It's it like does. a smorgies board of food. Come on. It sounds like something from the Lord of the Rings. The <laughs> Whatever. The All right, now, yeah. it's, it's, like for, it's for one day, which is hard to believe. So how can people get involved? 
Uh, we have the last pass, the last family pass on our show today. So uh, 97.3 FM, uh, if you're in Brisbane, or you can yeah. uh, do it on the app and fly yourself here. <laughs> uh, it's worth it. How good. Um, so, yeah, the last family pass today, we've been giving away over the last couple of weeks. And they've honestly been more popular than we've given away a car, $50,000. This has been the most popular thing we've we, ever given away. We had a guy who won, was trying to win State of Origin tickets because we've also got those giving away today and tomorrow. And he said, if I get the Origin tickets, I'll swap them for oh. I know. See, such is the demand. It's a big deal. You guys rock. Um, you're <laughs> absolute geniuses yeah. for taking us uh, on this trip down memory <laughs> lane. You. It's almost like I'm in hot tub time machine. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> <laughs> well, Carly, if you want to come, my friend, we will make sure All there right. is a seat here for you. Love you guys. So generous. Fantastic stuff. Well, an Aussie icon believed long gone is today making a comeback for one night only. Ooh. Let's go live now to today Queensland reporter Kendall Gilding in Brizzy. Kendall, Sizzler fans should be getting very excited today. <gasps> Sizzler. Good morning, Brookie. They sure should be because it was a national icon for three decades, but it's been four years since the last Sizzler restaurant closed their doors and none of us have had a way to satisfy our craving for cheesy toast or potato skins, pumpkin soup, anything from the salad bar, really. But that all ends today. This coffee club behind me is being transformed into a Sizzler restaurant for one night only. There are actually signage experts here now who are going to work so that it'll have all the trimmings of the original restaurant restaurant as it transforms for 80 lucky diners who are going to be given the chance to relive the nostalgia of the Sizzler restaurant. This isn't just any collaboration either. The owners of Sizzler have actually joined this partnership so their original staff will pull on their aprons to dish up this feast to diners. And this was the brainchild of Brisbane radio station Kiss FM's Robin and Kip. So you've had to be listening to their show in order to be one of the lucky people who will be here tasting those dishes. We've seen plenty of people try and recreate cheesy toast over the years. TikTokers, they love it. So many people have tried, plenty have failed, some have succeeded, but the chefs here have apparently nailed it. They have been working for weeks to recreate all of these iconic dishes to make sure they taste exactly like the originals. So the wait will end for those diners tonight at 6 o'clock. And guess what? They won't even have to pay the $4.95 price tag for the salad bar. How good is yeah. that? Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. Make it permanent, oh I no, say. Bring it back. Oh. I remember the, the one that I went to was Carindale. Um, yeah. So um, just down the road. Uh, and we used to go and it was like all you can eat. So it's like, but you'd have the toast. The genius is there. You'd have the toast. Mm. Then go straight to the pasta. Yeah. And then you're just full. And then the dessert yeah. bar, though. How did you bypass that? I used to... Well, it's just too full. The French fries in the uh, soft serve ice cream. Oh, yeah. My favorite. Oh, you end up making some awful monstrosity yeah. because there were too oh, many yeah. options. Just Smart put it all in. The soft serve and you get the chocolate drops. Yeah, yeah. You put the chocolate yes. drops on the ice cream. Just... But they get too hard because they get too cold. Yeah, they like used to have it. hundreds oh, and thousands. Like no. Too cold. Oh. So good, though. Takes you back, doesn't it? Bring back Sizzler. Across the board. Yeah. All day, every day. Hey there, today fans, Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?